Hello. How are you guys? Happy Wednesday, April the 26th, 2023. April 26th. We're almost in May. Where is this year going? Oh my goodness. So lots going on. Um, I'm Jennifer Kirk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Guelph, Ontario. Um, if you have not watched me before, please make sure that you um, follow my page or if you're watching this on YouTube that you subscribe to me so that you can see when I go live. I go live every Wednesday um, at 7 p.m. Easter time unless I get stuck at work, which does happen, but hopefully it's not going to happen for much longer. Um, and, uh, and sometimes I just pop in anyway. So if you're here watching me, please leave a comment. Um, I'm just pulling it up on my iPad so that I can see as well. All right. It's showing there. It's frozen. It always goes frozen. I don't know why does it go frozen all the time? Anyway, so if you're watching, please leave a comment. Um, so lots, lots going on. So we have one week left before the new catalog starts. Yay. But we also have one week of last chance items. So make sure you get your last chance items before they're gone. Okay. And they are going fast and there's some amazing, amazing deals on there. So uh, don't forget that. Um, last chance is, is till May 1st. And hey, Darlene, and the new catalog um, goes live on the 2nd. I'm so excited. Okay, so lots going on. Um, stay tuned um, for a paper and ribbon share. I'm just doing some of the final touches. I'll probably be releasing that tomorrow. Okay. Um, if you're not on my mailing list, go to my blog. It's uh, Stamping with Jen in, on Blogger and uh, sign up for the mailing list so that you can get an, a link to the paper share. Um, we're also holding two events, one in person, one virtual. Uh, both of them are in June. Um, one of them is going to be featuring the stamp set that I'm using tonight, which is the Cheerful Daisies. Um, and the other one is a Funfold Frenzy. So um, and that is the virtual event. So I have both of those registrations are on my blog. Registration for both of those close May 8th. Okay. And, uh, and they're both going to be fun. One, the daisies one is either in person or virtual. You have a choice. And then the fun fold frenzy is, um, uh, virtual only. Okay. So let's get stamping. I'm so excited. So I'm going to, um, I'm showing you the daisies. I've already showed you the paper. I think it was last week, maybe the week before. I can't remember. Um, so I'm not going to show you the DSP today, but the DSP is gorgeous, but I, we are going to play with a couple of the new ink colors. And when I first saw the, the new ink colors, I was like, Hmm, Hmm, not sure about those. Now that I've been playing with them, I love them. Like absolutely love them. Um, so don't be intimidated by the colors when you see them, okay? They're, uh, they're a little bit different than what we normally have, but they're uh, a lot of fun. All right, so I am going to flip you over. Close your eyes so that you don't get sick, okay? And uh, don't look at my messy desk either. All right, just give me one second. Flipping, flipping, flipping. I'll tell you when it's safe to look. I am just tightening up my camera so it doesn't sag. Oh, that's a little crooked. All right, let's try that again. Close your eyes again. Close them. I really need to get a better system than this. All right, there we go, perfect. All right, so we are going to make, now I can't see my camera, it's up too high. We're gonna make this fun fold card. We're gonna do it with different colors. It's a really super simple fun full card. This is one of the new colors. This is the Azure Afternoon. Isn't this beautiful? I love, love this blue. Um, and then the DSP. So this is the Copper Clay. This is an ink color. And the inside, isn't this sweet? So we're gonna do this exact same card. We're just gonna change up the colors and the DSP. All right, so let's get started. So the colors that we are using, would you ever think of 
putting these three together. I still think this looks like something in a baby's diaper, but you know, well, I'll get over that one time, one day, <laughs> but it is actually, I, it's, it's growing on me a lot. So this is a wild wheat and a new in color. This is copper clay, a new in color. And this is pretty peacock, which is a returning color. Um, and it's going to be one of our main colors. So the colors that, that don't change every two years. Um, so this is in the Regal family now. But aren't those three colors together gorgeous? Hey, Sharon, how's it going? Never would have thought to put them together until I had this DSP. And I was like, oh, okay, what colors am I going to do here? So let's get going. We'll make that card. It's really super easy. Watch, I'll mess it up, but that's okay. All right. So we have a piece of, this is our card base. This is four and a quarter by eight and three quarters. And we're going to give that a score at five and a half. Okay, so that's, let me repeat that, eight and three quarters by four and one quarter, and we're scoring at five and a half. Okay, and then I will just flip this over. How are you doing, Sharon? Are you having a good day? I hope so. Okay, and then this one, this is our inside card. Um, this is three by eight and a half, and we're going to score that in half at five four and a quarter. I'm just doing all the scoring first so I can get this off my desk because I don't have much room. I have been doing taxes for the last three days. Oh, just shoot me. Shoot me now. I don't know how people do that for a living. Oh. Okay. I am not a financial person. Then the other things that we have are the card base. This is uh, the inside layer, sorry. This is um, four and a half by three and one quarter. And so this is going to open this way. So it's kind of weird. Normally we have our stuff opening from left to right. This time we're opening it this way. So we're just going to put that right in the center, just like that. Okay. So let's glue that down. I am having a good day, Sharon. I'm on holidays, yay. But I'm, unfortunately, I haven't been, okay. Glue, we need a new one. I haven't been able to craft until tonight. Um, I've been doing all, I took a week off because my life, I haven't been able to do all my life stuff because work has just been insane for the last six months. So I decided I was gonna take this week off and just get caught up in all the things that I needed to do, like my taxes, doctor's appointments, all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm hoping most of it will be done so that I can start playing. Okay, so that's here, we just stick it in the middle, okay? This piece we can stick down now too. We're gonna to just stick it just like this. So it's gonna open this way. So this piece is opening this way. This is opening this way. Okay, so let's just glue that down. I'm just trying to get stuff out of my way. Hey, Heather, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. I see that they just posted for the uh, polar bear dip. Are you doing that this year? I don't know. I think my old ticker would stop. So, um, Heather is in a park that I'm in up in, on the lake in Bellwood. And they do a polar bear dip. Okay, which way do these guys go? This way? This way, because this guy goes down. Okay, so this, this is a super easy card. This just gets stuck right on here. Okay. I love the pretty peacock paper as well. It is just so striking. It's such an elegant color. Okay, 
Sticking this down. No polar dip for me. <laughs> You're smart, Heather. Good on you. Me neither. I wouldn't do it. Okay, so this piece here is two and three quarters by four, and that's we're going to stamp that on the inside. So on the outside, I can either put another piece like this here and just stamp and decorate it, but I kind of liked... the heat embossing. I like the, not adding another color onto here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do I heat emboss it? My thumb's been bleeding, so I apologize for my disgusting looking thumb. Um, so do I, I think I do this, and I'm gonna put my sentiment, I'm gonna heat emboss my sentiment here. So that's similar to what I did on my sample card in the Azure afternoon. I'm gonna do, I think the same thing. Because I think that looks really pretty. And it's just because this is so stunning. I don't want to hide it with the... Um... So, <laughs> me, not too smart. I should not have, have put this down. I was thinking I was putting white on here so I could put it down. So don't glue this down until you've heat embossed. So I'm just going to take my embossing buddy. And hopefully I don't mess this up. Otherwise, I have to... Pull everything apart and recut because I've glued it all. Hey Sandy, how's it going? Okay. Love my Versa mark. Oh, I actually might need a stamp. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. I'm going to do the birthday. Let me put this on before my fingers end up in it. And find a block. Okay. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Wishing you the brightest birthday. Can you see I'm loving this stamp set? So this is one of the stamp sets that we're featuring in um, our in-person event. So you want to check that out because it is gorgeous. Okay, so um, I'm just going to ink this up with Versamark. And I'm going to put it right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. Hopefully I turn my heat gun on. Oh my goodness. So the rain's about to stop starting. We're going to have rain. It, it was such a gorgeous day today. Oh, I'm going to have embossing powder everywhere. Do not do what I did. And make sure... You don't glue your card together before you remember to emboss. Oh no, I got static. All right, this is a mess. All right, let me just put some more on here because I just took some off. Didn't you know it, eh? All right, no fear. I just have to find a fine paintbrush. A fine paintbrush. And let's get some of this stuff out of here. Hopefully I don't shake too much. I have no idea why this did it. It's because I attached it, that's why. So all I'm doing is taking the extra stuff away. Give it another good flick. See if we can get it off. This is not going to be the cleanest card, but that's okay. It's homemade, right? Oh, I just took the top of my, oh, I just took the bottom of my end off. All right. I'm massacring this. Now I gotta put more back on because I took it off. And then I'm gonna have to re take it. Oh, why is this sticking so bad? It is very humid in here. I wonder if that has to do with it. Alright, you guys get the idea. Normally it's much cleaner. 
but that will have to do. Okay, and then we move that away, out of the way, so that we don't get, um, we don't set our own powder. So I'm gonna just turn this off, and this is our heat tool, and it has two sights, two thingies on it. Am I on the camera? Probably not. There we go. Um, we want it for heat embossing. We want it to the highest level, which is number two, so it's gonna make some noise. I'm gonna let it warm up. And then we're gonna emboss this. And we're gonna pretend that it worked. <laughs> What a messy emboss. But you guys get the idea. I'll, I'll redo this card nicer. So it's not a mess. I don't know why that happened. Maybe my embossing powder is old. Okay. But you guys get the idea. So now we're just going to glue this guy down. So I when I cut this out, I did cut it out in thick because I, I wanted it to not be very, really, really flimsy. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this down. I'm gonna put glue just, oh, it's a brand new glue bottle too, so watch, I'm gonna make a big glue mess. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue all the way around. So what did you guys do on this beautiful day? I, uh, I did lots of errands. My son is homesick again. He's got a tummy bug, which is kind of nasty. So far, he's the only one that's sick, so fingers crossed that we're all, the rest of us are okay. All right. And then my youngest son had an accident in gym today and smashed his eyeglasses. So now we'll have to run around and try and get a replacement. All right, so we're gonna pretend that that looks good because <laughs> it's kind of a mess. And there we go. What do you guys think without the mess? So the inside of the card, okay, we can just do some, I don't know what color do we wanna do. I'm just gonna do a daisy and I'm gonna leave it, um, What kind of daisy do we want to do? Which color? I wonder. I don't know. What color do you think? What did I do on this one? This one I did the azure. Stamped off. But I don't really want to do a copper one. Well, let's do a peacock one. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe I'll do a peacock with a lost lagoon in the middle. So that's another new color. Okay, so I'm doing the outline. I'm going to do it off the page. Just so that I have a little bit of room to write. Hi, Krista. Oh, that was a little bit too much off the page. Oh, well. This video tonight is how not to do your cards. How many more bloopers can I do? Let's see. I'm sure I'm not done yet. Oh, wow. Keeping it real. All right. And then we're going to do Lost Lagoon. So this one to set up um, is a little bit trickier. Oh, and it's really tricky when I don't have the bottom ones. But you can see... Um, oh, it just worked out perfectly. You can see that there's a big V up at the top here, like a deeper V than the rest of the places. So I just look for the deep V here, okay? And then there's also one down here where you have, I don't know if you guys can see it, you probably can't, but there's a, a lower leaf that is a funnier shape than the other ones. The other ones are very oval where this one has a little thingy in it. So I always line that one up with the deeper V. Okay, so it's just a trick. And I just get my stamp going the right way. Okay, so now I'm going to ink it up and I'll forget where did I put it. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too, Diane. 
it's just a tummy bug. He's not, it's not COVID. So I'm going to step off because I think this is going to be way too dark. Yes, it would have been way too dark. All right, so I'm just going to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect unless you're a perfectionist. I'm not, so I'm good with it. Just in the right spot. That, oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. Pretty peacock and stamped off loss of green. Love that. All right. And then I'm not going to put a sentiment. Oh, I am going to do a middle, though. We do need a middle. Um, what color? So all of these colors will be available, hopefully, unless they're unless they're sold out because a lot of the new in colors are already in low inventory um starting may 2nd for those of you that are not demonstrators okay so may 2nd you can get your hands on these colors okay so pretty all right and then this one we're just going to glue on in the inside just like that I'm not going to do it because, of course, I've got to make a new card and all the inside is good. So, which colors do you like best? The Pretty Peacock with the Copper Clay or the Azure Afternoon with the Copper Clay? I should not have done this one on white. I should have done it on... I'm not sure what color. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll fix that one too. But those are pretty and it's such an easy, uh, easy fold. So um, again, make sure you check out my blog for registration for, um, I'll put the paper share up there as well. So I am doing the paper and ribbon share. It should be released tomorrow. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you guys so much for joining me. I really enjoy stamping with you. Have an awesome night and, uh, and I hope you have a great week. Bye for now.